to the PH Lawn Care. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. I hope you find it real informative. So let's get started. Hey guys, before I get started, today I'm going to give you a review on the Skag Tiger Cat 2, but I just want to talk about a couple of things uh, first. I've been watching some videos here lately, and I'm not going to comment on any of them or even allude to what I'm talking about, but it's just kind of crazy. So what I wanted to tell you is uh, the reason I started doing these YouTube videos is because in my journey throughout this business, I always want to research the products I'm going to buy. And whenever I go to research them, like if you go to Consumer Reports, I would find that they would give like a five star rating to a product that I know if you use it for commercial use, it was not a five, it wouldn't have five stars. Uh, it did, shouldn't even belong in a commercial community. But, uh, or used for commercial um, so I would research look for other ways to research it and I turned to YouTube but what I found out whenever I would turn to YouTube is somebody would get like say the Tiger Cat 2 and they would just go on and on talking about how great it was and all this and that'd make you want to buy it well I come to find out like let's say you have a uh, like a Boland's curve shaft weed eater trimmer and all of a sudden you save up a couple hundred bucks and you can buy an Echo 225. Well, you're going to think that thing is the greatest trimmer in the world since you've been using this. Or let's say you go buy a zero turn mower from like Home Depot or Lowe's that's not a commercial mower. And then you get something like, say, the uh, Skag Liberty. Well, you're going to think that's the greatest thing in the world because you're comparing it to what you had, not in the broad spectrum of things. So what I wanted to do is take the products that I use every day, give you the pros and cons of them, and tell you what I think about them as far as using them every day, how they perform, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, that, that sort of thing, and get comments back from you guys, uh, see if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, that sort of thing. But my purpose in this is to help people that are purchasing equipment for the lawn care business to kind of get more of a factual instead of opinion. Uh, uh, so far, I haven't got a dime. I don't get a dime from anybody. I, I don't get discounts. However, Brian, I used your Brian's 10 discount on my new equipment defender rack. Uh, my tool rack fell off the. Uh, wall in my trailer so I got a new equipment defender tool rack that holds six tools and I use Brian's 10 on it but anyway some of the uh, channels that I, I love that I find really informative of course everybody knows Brian's lawn care or Brian's lawn maintenance uh, don't mean this anyway it's just Brian I, I like to refer to him as the Ryan Seacrest of lawn care because he's into everything that guy He's got a million different jobs he does throughout the day, and I, I admire him for that. Cut and clean cracks me up. If he ever teams up with Southern Mama, they could go on tour together. And of course, uh, Lawn Care Live. Uh, Jason Creel, uh, very informative, learned a lot of stuff from those guys. But anyway, that, that's the purpose of why I've been shooting these videos and why I wanna continue to do these. Um, so now, if y'all wanna get started, I'll start talking about the Tiger Cat 2 and uh, give you my opinion on it and just go over specs and stuff like that. I'm going to start. Keep going? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the things that I don't like about it. Um, first and foremost, I bought it brand new last year. Um, and the first thing that went wrong with it, it had 100 hours on it and the starter went out of course it's covered under warranty i took it back to the dealer no problems there they had it fixed within like 15 20 minutes back at, back out they said it was a pretty common occurrence with it. this model it's a 2018 but no big deal just so if you buy one and the starter goes out within the first 100 200 hours i was told that it's probably a pretty common occurrence but it's an easy fix and they have you back out on the job in no time so Second thing, if I can show you over here. If y'all have seen my other videos, you know that I have the other big brand of mower in my trailer too. And it, it isn't necessarily a floating deck, but it kind of is with all the rollers it has on it. And that's what I would like to see on the Tiger Cat. 
is some rollers right here because I've already cut some of this yard and whenever you come across the crest of a hill you can see how it'll kind of scout the yard and I did that on purpose I, I've mowed this yard hundreds of times so I know it's going to do it I just did it to show you guys but to keep from scalping it you can take your foot and just kind of push up on the deck and then until it flattens back out but it's kind of a pain I, I'd just like to see some rollers there but anyway uh, that's the second thing the third thing I don't like these I know what they're here for they're to protect the belts keep debris out and stuff like that and they did make it easy to take them off and clean them out but I did this just a couple days ago and as you can see how much grass gets built in around it and it doesn't take many yards to do that and personally I think that that wears on the belts as well so if they could figure out how to do a better system of this that would be pretty cool but other than that the last thing I'm going to touch on I looked at uh, Skag's website right before I started shooting this video to find out so y'all could fact check me but I went ahead to Skag's website and looked at it this is a 52 inch cut it weighs 1180 pounds I think I, I, that's pretty heavy for a mower. What I mean by that is this one has the Kawasaki engine on it. It is the FX691V right here. But as you can see, it's only a 22 horsepower engine. Now, in my opinion, if you've got a 1200 pound mower and a 200 pound guy sitting on it, you're like 1400 pounds. A little beefier engine probably wouldn't hurt. I, at least a 24, maybe even a 26 horsepower engine, I, I think would be great on this. But that's all my gripes about the Skag. What I like about it, everything else. Everything else about the mower, I think, is awesome. It, this deck is like a tank. I've hit tree stumps, all sorts of stuff. Never dented it, anything like that. If you hit something hard enough to dent this deck, it's probably going to throw you off of it. But anyway, I think that's really cool. Another cool feature of it is how you can get to it to clean that out around the belts and spindles and all that stuff. I think that's a great feature. Another feature that I think is really cool is dial your weight in on the seat. I've got it set obviously heavier than what I weigh, but I wanted more cushy. And you can see the bounce on this. So whenever you hit those gopher hole or groundhog holes that you don't know are there, that old pain you get in the in your back whenever you hit those, it's not near as bad because it, it softens the blow quite a bit. But other than that, it's a skag. This uh, Velocity Plus deck. That is the first and foremost reason I bought this mower because its ability to cut wet grass. Now, I'm going to go over this part real quick. This is what's the middle of the road skag. It's not the top, it's not the bottom. Um, you go to the base of skag on the zero turn mowers, you've got the Liberty Z. It's their answer to the residential zero turn mower. I don't even think that it comes with a warranty if you use it for commercial use. It's just for homeowner. Then you step up to the Liberty Z, Z and, I, and I looked at those, but I think it only comes with a 90 day warranty if you use it for commercial use. Then you got the Patriot. Now I own the Patriot for two seasons and I love that mower. I can't say enough good things about that mower. It would hug a hill like nobody's business. Did a great job, cut and striped wonderfully, but I traded it in on this for one reason and one reason only. It didn't have the velocity deck. And the year I traded it, unlike this year, was an unusually wet season. And I don't like to mow wet grass. I know in our business you, you're going to have to. But if I can choose not to, I, I don't. But that season, it was so wet, I was mowing wet grass constantly. And the Patriot will pump because it didn't have the velocity deck. 
and that's why I traded in on this. Couldn't really afford to do it at the time, but I couldn't afford to keep double cutting yards to get the clumps out either. But this thing cuts wet grass awesome. So you got the Liberty, which is residential. I mean the, yeah, the Liberty residential, the Freedom Z, then the Patriot. Then you've got the Skag Tiger Cat too. You go up one from it and you got the Cheetah, one up from the Cheetah and you got the King of the Jungle and, and the Turf Tiger too. I forget that all of them have the two on the end of it. But so that's why I call this the middle of the road because you got the Freedom Z and the Patriot below it that are can be used for commercial. And then you got the Cheetah and the Turf Tiger above it that can that also used for commercial but bigger than this guy. So it's your mid-size mower. But it's a great mower, guys. Uh, if you've got like between 25, even 7,500 accounts, uh, I recommend it. And like I said, it does great with wet grass. I'm not going to do a mowing vlog, but I do want to make a few passes and get it on film to show you what I'm talking about, about how I'd like to see a bigger engine on this thing. And to let you know how well it does hug a hill. The hill we're on isn't incredibly steep but it's steep enough where I don't want to take it sideways so I mow it up and down and it hugs it great the front wheels don't pop up on me but whenever you get to the top of the hill that's where you I want you to hear on the video where it starts losing power because then whenever I turned around and start heading back down the hill you hear the engine rev back up so let me get a shot of the steepness of the hill See. That gives you any idea of what you're going up. It's not something you'd want to walk up a hundred times. But we're going to shoot a couple of passes with it and then um, just end the video. Please uh, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And uh, let me know what you think about the video and my next one. I want to do a, uh, a review of the Steel 94R trimmer and the Steel 91R trimmer. Show you the difference in those two. I love both of them, but I'll go over both of those in the next one. So thanks a lot guys, see you next time.